Jim. Nicotine patch. Happy now? <laughs> Don't look so pleased with yourself. Oh, it's good you're here. The last time I fired this up, you didn't show. Had me concerned. What do you mean? The agency convoy? All those freaks were in one place and you decide not to show? Oh, that ain't like you. You don't take time off. Waller ordered me to stand down. You're kidding! <sighs> the nerve on her! I guess I can't really talk. We got there late. But then it was just Bane. He still beat us to a pulp and got away. Is that all? Uh, no. No, I... I got a favor to ask. Lucius Fox. I know he was your friend, and I don't mean to speak ill of the dead. But I think he might have been up to some shady stuff before Riddler's attack on Wayne Tower. He might not have been the man you thought. Not entirely. I don't know anything about that. Maury was an arms dealer, and Riddler targeted him the same way he did Fox. My gut is telling me that's no coincidence. Waller shut down any investigation into the circumstances surrounding his death. And that means something stinks in Denmark. They could follow that stench all the way to Fox's employer. Look. Just how much do you really know about Bruce Wayne? He's another friend. You know, for a loner, you sure seem to have a lot of friends. You might want to start choosing them more carefully. You know, at first, I thought Fox was at the center of it all. But there's a hell of a lot more. A Wayne Enterprises security guard comes to GCPD, saying he was assaulted by Harley Quinn and her gang. And who was leading her around like a pet? Bruce Wayne. Then I checked the video recordings. Someone did an amateur job covering up the security footage. Files were replaced, time unaccounted for, sloppy. And strike three? One of my officers gets bashed in the head while he goes into Riddler's old workshop. Wayne even dropped my name with Bullock, like I'd back him up. <laughs> Dirtbag's got stones, I'll give him that. Bruce Wayne is dirty, and he's dangerous. Waller knows all of this happened, too, and she refuses to let me move on it. So I need you to bring him in. That's the favor. I can't do it, but you can. I can keep an eye on Bruce Wayne. Dennett, I'm not asking for an eye. I want him delivered. Here, with a little bow. Gotham's safety is slipping out from under me and I can't stand it. I know your friend Catwoman's in town. Got a rap sheet that'll put her away for life. Maybe I can't move on Bruce Wayne, but I can move on her. I should have done this a year ago. Please, Jim. Don't. This is between you and me. I thought you were better than this, Batman. As soon as I get back to the office, I'm sending out a task force after her. And you... You better not tell her we're coming. He sounds like he's on a warpath. If I warn Selina and she gets away, Gordon and the police will blame me. But if I don't, I put her in danger. Don't forget that you're both after that laptop. Gordon might be your best chance to slow her down. Unfortunately, we're running out of time. It's my fault Gordon is like this. I want to tell him everything, but I can't. Secrets poison relationships, Bruce. But to protect this city, to protect yourself, he can't know. You know, Miss Kyle is going to run sooner or later. It's her nature. How much can you really trust her as an ally? I know how you feel about her. Make certain you aren't letting that cloud your judgment. 
We both want to take down the Pact. That I know for certain. Allies are in short supply these days. I know you've worked together in the past, but... Oh, circumstances are different. You know what must be done. I didn't do it. Splendid. Don't go, Gordon. I've got a city to save. <laughs> Please, Jim. You have to let me in. I can't, man. It's too much. I'm the best friend you have in spandex or whatever my suit is. You can. Tr what if I grew a mustache for you, Batman? Hi. Uh, hello. So, uh, John. My name's John. John Doe. You don't know me. Well, we actually did cross paths once, but, uh... What did you overhear? I, I didn't hear anything. I just got here, I swear. Oh, this is just... What a pleasure. It's so nice to finally meet you. It's just a handshake. Nice to meet you, John. Well... Quite a grip you've got there. You must squeeze a stress ball a lot. I've been waiting over a year for that moment. I'm just such a huge fan of yours. And here you are, in the flesh. <laughs> I'm looking for mentors, role models. I've come across a few good candidates. You're, you're Batman. <laughs> I don't take on students. Now hold on! Before you accept, here's what I bring to the table. I can get you Riddler's laptop. All his secrets, right there! And the gang who attacked the convoy, they needed to pull off a big score. The point. So what if I steal it from Harley Quinn, no less, and give it to you? But, uh, and, and, this, is, and this is a Big butt! I need you to promise nothing bad will happen to Harley. I mean, letting one criminal slip through the cracks every once in a while can't be the worst thing. That depends on what she does. If she hurts innocence, then I stop her. Well, that's... you really... This is what dedication looks like, huh? But if I get the laptop... There is no score, so win-win. Now, now, when you're on the job, what's the preferred method of extracting a target? Always repelling in, or explosives as a distraction, or... You know what? I'll wing it. If I were you, I'd get a friend to help. That's a great idea! I hope Bruce is there. He'd do anything for me. Oh, one last thing. <laughs> I collect these. They mean a lot to me. Oh, we look so cool. I mean, you're cool. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not usually cool, but next to you, I look cool. Oh, this is gonna look great on my wall. Thank you. Laptop, behind the stack deck. I'll be there. Promise. Hope to die. You won't be disappointed. <laughs> <laughs>